Gaffer, our summer has already got off to an excellent start. You must be delighted by our business so far. Yeah, yeah, really happy. I think, um, and in different ways. So obviously, re-signing, uh, re-signing some really important players, and then, yeah, bringing in uh, two new players to the club. So, yeah, happy. Um, yeah, but want to keep pushing, really, uh, keep pushing forward. Sam Tickle was the first major business signing a new long-term contract until the summer of 2028. How much of a positive statement was that for all the parties involved? Yeah, huge, really. Um, I think probably to start with, with Sam, it was just, um, he downed it. Um, I think uh, we also have to show the younger players, uh, and it's not just Sam, uh, it's happened with others, with Baba, Tello and Charlie 12 months ago. Scott Smith um, uh, as well at the moment. Um, yeah, look, we have to show them that there's a pathway here, but once they then prove that they are first team players, they have to be rewarded like first team players. And then Sam had an incredible season. Um, so yeah, he deserved the contract that he's got. Um, and it's big intention for him. I spoke to him a lot during the summer and he wants to have success here. So um, yeah, he's, uh, it was a big, big statement for the club, uh, uh, but probably a bigger statement for him. One, he deserved it. And then the other to, to really show a, uh, a loyalty to us, um, yeah, it meant a lot. And now for Sam is be even better this season. Um, that has to be the challenge. In his debut season, he won the Player of the Year, Players Player of the Year, and made his debut for England under 21. So it'd be a hard debut season to top, but I'm sure with his attitude and professionalism, he'll strive to do that every single day. Yeah, he will. And I think um, look, there's definitely areas of his game that we can still improve. I think that that's probably the same throughout every player in the squad. Uh, and that should be the mindset. I know that is Sam's mindset. So, yeah, we have to we have to help him improve in certain areas. There's some areas that he's just been outstanding. Um, there's certain things that he does that I can't coach. I say that with outfield players, but it's the same with with goalkeepers. Um, he has produced brilliant brilliant moments, match defining moments. Um, and now there's other parts of the, his game that I want to improve, um, and I'm sure he will. Uh, He's got a brilliant work ethic. He comes from a really good family. So um, I think Sam will be even better this year. Jason Kerr soon follows suit. Signed a new contract until the summer of 2026, earliest week. I see the smile on your face as soon as I said that. A real big, important piece of business to keep Jason at our club. Yeah, huge. Again, it's... Uh, and Jason, um, when I came here uh, in January, uh, 18 months ago, obviously he just sort of... He was two months into a really long rehab. And to watch him battle back from that, come back from a setback with a metatarsal break as well, which is really tough after a long injury. Mindset was so strong. Um, so off the pitch, somebody I really respect. Um, I could see the way that he leads in a very, in his own way, very quiet, but really strong way. And, um, and then the performances he had on the pitch were really at a very good level. I think they got better and better from the, the Doncaster game was his first start. And then he was just producing really really good performances for us. Uh, we had a strong um, strong squad defensively. I made that decision in January and he pushed through, he pushed past everyone really. Um, and we made a big effort to keep him. Uh, and again, it's the same thing as Sam. He's made a big commitment to us and now I need to really push Jason. The way that we play, I think he'll improve even more uh, within that sort of style of play. But the style of play is one thing. Uh, I need him to bring that desire to win every day that I know he's got um, and I need him to to sort of put that through the squad. He'll, he'll be a big leader for us this year. So it was a really important business and um, for both of these and I guess the ones we'll speak about, particularly the new sign, uh, the ones that have re-signed, the club have worked really hard. The ownership have been um, really diligent uh, and hard working around it. So. Um, yeah, they uh, appreciate the work that uh, that the club have done on, on getting those two re-signed, really. As well as retaining Sam and Jason. We made two new signings with Michael and Calvin Boken through the door. Two signs I imagine, are really exciting and, and pleasing for you. Yeah, really. Um, uh, and then, obviously, different positions. Michael's one where, 12 months ago, um, I pushed hard, really, to try and get him from Brentford. They, they kept him for the first team. Just super talented. Um, and 1v1, very, very quick. Uh, technically, I really like what he can do off both left and right uh, sort of wing uh, positions. And then when I met him for the first time, met his family, uh, yeah, he has, a, he has a real sort of quiet determination about him. 
to get to a certain level. And also, uh, he's very driven to come and have a successful season with us. Um, yeah, he's a hungry boy. Um, I think he's going to be a really good signing for us. Uh, as with all the new signings, I give him time to adapt. But the big thing was getting him here first day of pre-season, and Michael really pushed for that. Brentford were the same, and we'll speak about Calvin with Liverpool, but um, I appreciate the work that these clubs have done for us. I asked and requested for them to be here first day of pre-season, and uh, we've worked pretty hard to, to make that happen. And um, But Michael, Michael's a, a talented boy. Really, um, really glad that I got him. Um, and we'll see big things from him this season, I'm sure. Calvin arrives with a, a great calibre. He, he's obviously made his breakthrough at Aberdeen. He's, he's played in the Champions League with Liverpool, who he, who he joined in 2022. Uh, a really exciting young player. Can play both sides of the defence, so a, a real asset to have. Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Sessegnon was fantastic uh, towards the end of the season. And what I love about Sesk is that he can play both sides. And Calvin's very similar. Um, he hasn't played too much off the left, but I feel he can if needed. Um, I've seen so much of Calvin from when he broke through at Aberdeen uh, from that right-back position. Technically really good, fantastic at set plays, uh, crossing. Um, and yeah, he's, he's had a really difficult time. He had a difficult injury at Preston. Uh, he's had a difficult injury when he first joined Liverpool. Um, and I get the same sense as what I got from Michael, a real hunger to succeed this season. Really talented fullback. Um, I'll ask certain things of him defensively to be very aggressive. What I think our support will see is a really attacking fullback. Uh, yeah, the same. It's a really specific pro profile I wanted. Calvin can come inside, can attack, um, obviously outside a winger. So really happy to have got him. And it's the same sense I get a real sort of determination to succeed with us. Um, and I'm glad he's here on the first day or by the first day of preseason. Um, appreciate, yeah, again, the club, our club and the clubs that have allowed us for it to happen. Well, the adversity Calvin faced over the last couple of years really helped him grow as a character. And did, did you sense a real determination to almost make up for lost time, so to speak? He's such. A, he's still a kid. Uh, he's only 20. I think it's been a really difficult season last season for him for different factors. I think with moments like that, um, uh, I know the talent he has. Uh, I watched him at Aberdeen. Uh, I watched him earn that move to Liverpool. Going through injuries at a younger age is tough. It's tough, um, it's hard enough uh, once you become a senior professional, but when it happens to you so quickly after a big move to Liverpool, uh, yeah, you find out a bit about yourself. And um, Calvin's a strong character. Uh, yeah, he's, um, and we'll see that this year. Uh, every player has good, good games, bad games, but there's a strength of character I see. And really, as long as Calvin understands, and I'm sure he will, how we want to play, then I need to let him go and express his talent. And he has a lot of talent. Um, I'm going to push him. I want more assists. I want him to be even more creative. I want him to be really aggressive when we defend. As long as he understands what we're doing, we're going to see a really talented player at our club. Um, and I know, speaking to him, he wants, to, he wants success here at this club this season. I think that's what I've loved when I've met our, the players that we've signed. Um, Hopefully there's more in the next few days, but I need to see that sense of succeeding. Um, and for us, uh, yeah, this season, we're not going to have the biggest budget. But what we have to do within our club, we have to be very humble, quiet. And if we work away, then uh, in our own way, we've got a chance of being very successful. And um, I want to sense that from the players that come to the club and so far I have, yeah. You pay tribute to, to both Brentford and Liverpool. How important is it for our club to build those kind of relationships with Premier League club to allow them to, to trust us with their young prospects? Yeah, uh, it is. It's um, it works both ways. I think when I when I speak to these clubs uh, and maybe experience just being really honest with them, where I see the players, why I want to sign the players that, uh, that are there. They obviously want the players to develop. I want that as well, but I also want to win. So. Um, uh, and I really explain that to the players, and that's what I want to hear or feel when I speak to them. And um, because we've got brilliant, brilliant players at our club, we've got players that have come through our academy. They know the pathways there. If I'm signing other players, they have to have different attributes to the ones that I have. But the mentality has to be strong. Um, and every player I sign, I never absolutely guarantee they start every single game. They have to go and earn it. And that's what I want. I want two players in every position absolutely fighting for that shirt. And when they have it, they don't want to give it up. And um, yeah, uh, in terms of Liverpool and Brentford, they've been really good to deal with. Both look, we had Charlie Good, 
it was a really successful loan. Uh, Charlie Good, I'll never forget what he did for us against Bolton. So the relationship with Brentford's good. And the same with Liverpool. Even I, I was really fond of Balagizi. It didn't work in terms of minutes. But they then allowed us to have Chambers as well. And that, that loan was a revelation. That kid was brilliant. So um, the relationship's good. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, hopefully honest both ways. You mentioned more business may follow suit in the next couple of days. Are you, are you hoping to get all your business done nice and early before the lads return? Yeah, I think that's the pressure that I put on. I know Gregor probably feels it more than uh, uh, and Stevie, uh, head of recruitment. I think we have to try and get as many as we can within the squad. I'm not going to rush into certain decisions or certain positions, but I uh, would like to have um, as much of the squad, 90% of the squad with us uh, pre-season and on the trip to Hungary. Um, that's just an experience uh, again tells me the more work I can get into the players um, the quicker they can adapt and the quicker we can actually perform at a certain level but um, I know it's not possible always but I have to keep pushing um, as Gregor I'm sure feels all the time and in terms of the trip to Hungary uh, we, we recently confirmed our final pre-season fixture at Tramia Rovers over this week you know, it's really excited to have the lads back and get those that fundamental work in ahead of another big season here yeah, I really liked uh, the preseason we had last year. Uh, Hungary's a um, Hungary's a brilliant place to train. We stay on site. Um, we have the pitch right next to the rooms that we stay in. Um, yeah, it's a really good atmosphere. Uh, it's a real sport, and lots of federations building. So, um, uh, yeah, we go there to work. Um, the weather helps. Look, it's it's either very hot. I know there's um, sometimes you can have some storms, but actually the conditions are perfect uh, to get the work that we need in. And then all the all the friendlies, I'm really happy with. Um, we got that done pretty early in sort of like March, April, um, and yeah, we we need to push the players um, in tough conditions. Uh, I wanted to try and pick different opponents, so yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with it. Um, now we need to build the squad, um, and I think that's why I'm happy so far with the the two lads that have resigned, um, and yeah, the two two players that we've managed to bring in and. Um, yeah, pre-season, uh, I want it to be hard. I want to push them uh, uh, both in training uh, and then obviously in the games that we have. It's been a brilliant start to the summer and one thing I'm sure our supporters would like to know, they know how hard you work on a daily basis for this football club. Have you managed to have a bit of time to yourself this summer? Um, yeah, no, I had uh, I had seven, eight days in Scotland. I think I mentioned this before the end of the season. Um, yeah, just, I guess, doing what every... Uh, dad or husband does on their holidays you you get to be fully focused on your family and uh, enjoyed it it wasn't quiet um uh, yeah being in scotland i managed to take in the Celtic Rangers cup final it was an incredible atmosphere so um yeah look i got to focus on the family which is really enjoyable i think always in the back of the mind uh, particularly with the squad that we have just continue to try to build it but um yeah I had a nice seven or eight days in glasgow um and now back to work. Uh, yeah, full steam ahead, really.